typically when I go to Sephora or Ulta, somebody is like revving up their engine out there and it's very distracting. Quit that. Okay. Uh, and now somebody's walking by. Ooh. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul, which is so exciting because I haven't done one on my channel yet and um, I really haven't had much of an opportunity because when I purchase makeup, it's usually one or two items at a time because I've run out of something and I just need to go grab one thing. It's not like a bunch of stuff. So this is actually quite a bit of stuff for me. It's quite a bit of stuff. And it all can be purchased at Sephora, but I'm going to be totally honest, I didn't get all this at Sephora. I got it at Hudson's, which if you're from the South or I think it's a Southern thing, I'm not really sure, but we have a place called Hudson's and it's like a place where you can get a bunch of stuff discounted. I mean, they have like they'll get shipments from um, Target and Hobby Lobby and this just happened to be a huge Sephora shipment because of Hurricane Harvey. I think that Hudson's purchased all of this from a Sephora because it was salvaged goods or damaged goods or whatever and even though it is not damaged at all, like everything I got is perfectly fine, but I was able to get all of this 40% off which is amazing and that's why I got so much stuff is because 40% off, I mean, how often are you going to get that opportunity? So. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I got. But like I said, you can get it all at Sephora. So it's not like I'm showing you stuff that you can't get your hands on. So I'm just going to jump into the haul and show you what I got. So the first thing that I picked up is the St. Tropez Bronzing Mousse. And this is in the classic formula. And this is so good. I have used this kind, the classic, as well as the dark formula of the St. Tropez, like, so much. This is my go-to fake tan. I think it's wonderful. It's super easy to blend. Um, it has a color guard. I have used fake tans before that were clear and that makes it super hard to <laughs> see if you're blending it in until you're done and then you can obviously see if you did or not. But um, this is awesome. So if you are looking for a good fake tan, I would recommend this. This retails for, it says 42. So I guess it, this, this is very expensive, I will say. Of course, I got it 40% off, which is why I got another bottle of it because I already have some, but I was like, uh, I could get it back up. Um, but... Yeah, it is expensive, but it takes you a while to go through it. You don't have to use that much, so it's very good. The next thing that I got was the Kate Somerville Gentle Daily Wash. And I have used this before as well, and I loved it. Um, I just love Kate Somerville packaging. It's so, it's so pretty. It has like the twist cap, and then you squeeze, and then you twist it back, which I think is super handy. So this is just a very gentle daily cleanser, just like it says, nothing special. Um, but I do remember when I used it in the past that it, my skin loved it. Like it was very clear and um, it smells really good, it's very fresh. And yeah, I'm excited to use this again. So I picked up one of those. And then I picked up another cleanser that I have never tried before and that is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And I, this is expensive. That's why I haven't purchased it, to be honest. It looks like this. I've heard amazing things about Fresh. I've used some of their lip products and a face mask and a toner, I think. Like, I had a sample size of a toner, but I've never used um, the cleanser. But I've heard really great things about it. So, it's quite expensive if you don't have a discount. I think it's almost $40 for a cleanser, which for me is, like, <laughs> kind of crazy. But... Since I had the discount, I went for it, and I'm really, really, really excited to use this because um, I've heard nothing but good things about it. So, yeah, that's the Soy Face Cleanser. I picked up one of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Sprays. I've used this before. I love it. Um, it's great. I was just talking about how... I think I was just talking in my last video about how I needed to get another one of these. Or maybe I wasn't. Maybe I just made that up. I don't know. Anyways, it's just a really great setting spray and yeah, long lasting, paraben free, oil free, temperature control technology. Wow, that's just great. I'm excited about that. Next thing I got was a foundation. I had been needing a new foundation and they had a ton of these Kat Von D Locket foundations and so I just tried to guess my shade and actually guessed it like 
spot on, which is a miracle because we were looking through this clear glass at all these foundations and you could see just the top, like the color. <laughs> and I was like, well, medium 52 looks like a good match, so I'm just gonna go for it. So I got it and it works. So I ended up going back and getting another one. Um, so yeah, I have got a backup in the box and then I have one that I've started using already. So this is the, like I said, Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. And like I said, I have already used this and I love it. It's a really good foundation. It's it's buildable coverage. Um, I would say medium to full coverage. Um, it's not too matte, It's so it's not super drying on my skin. Um, yeah, I really like it. So, And I haven't been using high-end foundation for a while now. I've pretty much been doing drugstore, which is fine. Like, There's nothing wrong with that, but I was excited to get like a you know, a nicer foundation for a change. So I'll be using this for a while because I have two of them, so. Okay, moving along. I got the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS. I've also used this, I got a bunch of stuff that I've used before. I should have branched out, but I know I like this stuff, so I wanted to take advantage of the discount. But this is basically just a really great concealer. This is a really good concealer. I remember loving it. It's been a long time since I've used it, but I definitely liked it. I do remember that. It has a doe foot applicator, and I just... It's great. So I'm really excited about this. And this is another one of those products that I wouldn't want to pay full price for. Um, 21. It's... No, that's the wrong packaging. Wait, what? Yeah. I'm crazy. Um, yeah, it says 30 on the box. So, whew, that's up there for concealer, but... When you get a 40 off, winner. That's a steal, not a deal. Okay, so the next thing that I got was also something that I've used before and something that I have so dearly missed. Oh my gosh. This is the, uh, I'm not going to open this one because our, our, I bought two of these and I've already opened one and I used it today. Um, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. And I cannot believe I got my hands on... A couple of medium browns because me and my mom both use that shade and I picked her up some and I got me some and this is such a good brow product if you've never used it before it's really good it's so good at, like really defining the brows and just making them look as natural as possible which is what I want I'm not really into like you know super major brows I just want them to just I just want to fill them in and make them look natural so this is a great product and I'm excited that I got my hands on that Okay, so everything that I have left to show you, I've never purchased before. With the exception of the Beauty Blender. I'm not going to show you guys that because I have used it already and it doesn't look very pretty, but I did pick up a Beauty Blender. But this is the stuff that I have never tried that I will let you guys know what I think about it. So the first thing I got is the Soft Light Blurring Powder by Becca. And I think the shade is Golden Hour. I'm not sure. And I'm assuming that this is just like a setting powder or a blurring powder. It comes in a, it's kind of a bulky packaging. I'm not a huge fan of that. Like it's super major. Packaging is always really pretty, but it is kind of bulky. But um, it does look really pretty. They only had two shades and this one looked like, I'll see if I can show you. There you go. It's, you know, it's got color to it. The only setting powder that I have right now is the um, Cody Airspun. So I wanted to get, and it's translucent, so I wanted to get um, one with a little bit of color. The last two things that I got were lip products, and these are both from Urban Decay. They're the Vice, Vice, is that like the collection? I'm not sure. But the first one I got is Hideaway, and this is a matte. And this is a really pretty this is kind of like a mauvey purple. It's really, really pretty. It's a little darker than what I'm used to, but I'm going to go for it. What's it on my hand? It's pretty. I mean, it's dark. I'm going to I'm gonna wear it, though, and y'all are going to be so proud of me because I'm going to wear it. So I'm excited about that. That's really pretty. And the packaging, oh my gosh, y'all. It's so pretty. Can you see Look how pretty that is? You probably can't read it, but it says Urban Decay. And it's just, it's just this really, like, pretty gunmetal, I don't know, it's just so pretty. I would love to pull this out of my purse and be like, you know, so pretty. Anyways, that's obviously not why I bought it, but um, it helps to have nice packaging. 
And the last thing I got was another lipstick, and this is in the shade Naked, and it is a cream um, formula, and it is more of a pink. Not more of a, it is definitely a pink. Um, I don't know if you can see that next to it. So it's a lot lighter, more of what I would go for. It's just a really, really pretty pink color, so. So that is everything that I got at the Crazy Blowout Hudson Sephora sale. It was insane. Me and my friends got there right when they opened. Well, actually, we got there an hour before they opened because we figured there would be a line, and boy, were we right. We were probably like 15th in line, 15th, 16th, and um, they let like a couple people go in. I think they let 13 people to be back. The 13 people go in first for like three or four minutes, and then they came out and opened doors, and everybody just like flooded in. It was psycho. I did not have fun at all that first day. I ended up going back on another day to get what I wanted. Um, luckily, there was stuff left. They had so much stuff, you guys. Yeah. Anyways, that is everything that I got. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, maybe saw some things that you might want to try. And I will try to keep you guys updated on the new stuff that I got. And I'll let you know if I like it. And yeah, that's this pretty quick video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you in my next video.